Today I'm going to show you guys how you can use ChatGPT to color your music videos. Now, if coloring music videos is something that you have struggled with and you're not the greatest at coloring, in this video, I'm going to be putting you onto this crazy technique. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jacob and I run the Tiny Tape Shop where we sell editing plugins, presets, and a ton of other effects that will help you level up your music videos and edits. So if you're interested in any of that, go check it out down below. But starting off inside of ChatGPT, all you really have to do, like, let me just show you how simple this is. Create me a LUT. They're called like .cube files. .cube uh, in the style of the Joker movie. So you could tell it movies that are well known and it will look into them and look it up. It's going to give you a big breakdown of how it works. If you want to create it yourself and mess around with it. And then like after you apply the LUT, you could follow these steps to tweak it a little bit more. But as you guys can see here, it says I'll create a LUT and provide steps to test it in your editor. So it's going to literally generate you a LUT file, which is mind blowing. Um, I messed around with it. I tried uploading like a Lyrical Lemonade uh, YouTube link and I said, generate me a LUT in the style of this video. And it actually can't watch YouTube links or videos. So it has to be something in the database. So it says, it seems I can't do more advanced data analysis right now. Please try again later. Um, so apparently I need to uh, upgrade or something. I'm telling you right now, it will work for you though, because I literally just did this one. You guys can see here and you can download the Joker style. Lot. So I think in the free version, you only have a certain amount of like data analysis amount you could use. So if you guys are interested in using this a lot, I recommend you upgrade to the paid version. But I did this five minutes ago using the uh, free version. And you guys can see here, it lets me download the Joker style. Lot. So all you have to do is click on it to install it and it's not letting me so i'm going to log into a new account where i haven't used the daily limit so i enter the exact same thing in a new chat gpt account and we're going to see it's going to generate just like before and i'm going to go ahead and download it and not forget so it says i'll generate a basic dot cube lut file you can use to apply this look give me a moment and it's going to go ahead and make that right here so it generated the lut file right here as you guys can see we're just going to click on it to download it and you're going to see this time it's actually going to let me download it so i'm going to go ahead and install that right here and now that we have it we're going to go ahead and use it inside of our editing software so i have this raw footage pulled up here inside of Premiere Pro. We're going to go over to Lumetri Color right here. If you guys don't have the tab right here, go over to Window and open it up. It's a lot easier than having search it inside of effects and drag and drop it. We're going to go into Creative right here, clicking on a clip, and we're going to go ahead and find a LUT on our computer. So we're going to double click on it and hit open. And boom, you guys can see it applies a LUT, but it does need a lots and lots and lots of work. So the LUT didn't look the greatest. We're going to go ahead and say, make this LUT for flat footage. And we're going to see if it tweaks it. I'll modify the LUT to ensure it transforms flat footage effectively. Give me a moment. So as you guys can see there, it this LUT was purely meant for footage that's already colored. I mean, I could put a Rec 709 conversion LUT on this to, con to color it and then put this LUT on top. But we're going to see what ChatGPT can cook up here. So now we have the Joker style LUT for flat footage. We're going to go ahead and download this and we'll see how this one looks here. And boom, this one adds a lot more contrast to it. Obviously, it's not perfect. We're going to turn up the intensity here. And I'm really curious what this LUT is doing. So I'm going to go ahead and turn up the greens, turn up the contrast, turn down the shadows, go back into creative. And this LUT's really just like kind of adding like a blue tone, which does look like the Joker movie. If we go ahead and turn it on and off, it is adding some style to it. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but let's mess around with it and see what other looks we can get. Make me a LUT in the style of, let's do Fallen Angels. I'm going to say make the contrast really bold. All right, we'll see what this cooks up here. All right, and now we have our LUT right here. We're going to click on it and install it, and we'll see how it looks. So for this, let's just reset everything so we can see how it looks on the flat footage. And boom, damn, we get a lot more of a stylistic look with this one here. If we do before and after, you can see this is like an actual, an actual like LUT now. And if you wanted to tweak it, you could go around and play with everything inside of here. But damn, that one worked the best. It seems the Joker LUT was probably just like very basic. But yeah, mess around with this. If it's not making your footage like bold enough or it's not like giving you enough contrast, just tell it it needs more contrast. I would even maybe play around with uploading some images. Let's see if we can do that now quick, actually. I always love the color grade on this, uh, this video right here. So we'll try this. We'll upload this here. No, I want it this. Okay, cool. We'll see what it does now. I'm super excited. I hope. I really hope this uh, matches the tones. Hints of red, and it's gonna make the LUT, which is which is nuts, guys. This is so sick. And we have our LUT right here. So let's go ahead and download this and see how it looks on our footage. Now, keep in mind, there's actually nothing red in this footage, so I'm really curious to see how it's gonna implement those tones. But we'll mess around with it here. And boom, I really think that does match it. Like other than the fact that there's nothing red. All right, so that exact weekend video in my timeline now, and what we're gonna do to mess around with it actually, let me just scale it up first. All right, so we have this exact scene here that we used for the reference right what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna 
turn this into flat footage just like turn the saturation down turn the contrast down turn the shadows up uh, maybe put the blacks a bit like get rid of them like that and now we're gonna apply that a lot on here and uh see what it does yeah so it, it's pretty close obviously it's not gonna match it completely but it does make those reds pop and you could just tweak everything else inside of here like i feel like if i just turn this up boom you guys can see the saturation really brings it back and yeah i just wanted to test that right quick if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more topics just like that yeah it's definitely making only like reds and browns pop that's really cool you guys can see like in this video if we compare it to like the way it looked before especially like this shot here yeah that's awesome if you guys enjoyed this leave a like if you want to see more chat gpt videos let me know i have a bunch of other tricks i can show you guys that'll make you editing your music videos fast using chat gpt go check out my website as well down below i'll see you guys in the next video peace